Hi, thank you for joining me for this short video on the global business environment. The global business environment is concerned mainly with the international conditions or international forces, if you will, and how those international forces pose a threat or pose any type of uh, impact on business. And this includes a number of different things, uh, definitely not limited to, but uh, I'll give you a few uh, different examples of things to potentially look for. Uh, includes things such as political unrest. And so over the last couple years, in 2011, we certainly experienced a great deal of that, particularly in the Middle East. And so we saw how that impacted us back here in the United States through very uh, rising oil prices and different things of that nature. Uh, so as you can see, uh, things that take place on the other side of the world, uh, if you're in the United States, that is, uh, certainly has an impact on us here at home and vice versa, of course. And so the mentality is, is that we can't necessarily shut ourselves off, wall ourselves up to the entire world and think that we can exist simply by ourselves in isolation. Uh, what happens in one area certainly poses some type of impact or some type of effect to what happens in all other parts of the world, political unrest being one of those things. Uh, another thing to look for are natural disasters. And we uh, were ex exposed to a very significant natural disaster that took place in 2011 with the uh, earthquake and subsequent tsunami over in Japan. And that, uh, obviously, there was a, a extraordinary loss of life, which was uh, just awful. Uh, outside of that, though, from the business side, uh, there was a very, very significant impact on supply networks here in the U.S. And one of the biggest things was that the U.S. was in the process of kind of making uh, their way out of the recession that had began in 2008. And we were starting to recover at a very good rate. GDP was, was rising uh, every month. Uh, and we were at a point to which we were improving. And that disaster devastated supply networks. And so now you had businesses that didn't have the ability to get the parts to produce the products in order to sell them. And that really caused us to uh, delay our improvement. Uh, obviously, we would have improved at a much more rapid pace to have that not taken place. But once again, it's just kind of sheds light on how reliant we are on other places of the world in order to produce some of the very things that we use on an everyday basis. Another thing besides political unrest and natural disasters are international economic conditions. And this is one that we've seen uh, play out significantly over the past several years and has really come to uh, a head with regards to the European debt crisis, uh, which is still ongoing. There's a lot of issues with regards to countries like Spain and Greece, to name a few, and just the amount of debt that those countries have in requiring Eurozone funds uh, as a way of uh, continuing to operate and, and meet obligations for, for creditors and those sorts of things. So, uh, And those economic conditions have had some significant impacts here in the U.S. Uh, mainly, you look at the stock market just very simply, and you can see that you know on a given bait on a given day, uh, the stock market will fluctuate depending upon what news is coming out of Europe with regards to well, is Greece meeting its obligations? Is it holding up its end of the bargain uh, in order to get another you know round of funding in order to use that to pay off its debt and those different types of things? And so the market reacts to the news that happens. And so if you're an investor, you're obviously very aware of what takes place in Europe because that has an impact ultimately on stock prices here. And there are a host of other impacts as well. Uh, but businesses do pay a great deal of attention to what happens globally uh, because simply if a business is not operating on a global scale, you still are subject to the actions and the events that take place uh, worldwide. Certainly all businesses are in some way uh, affected by oil prices, uh, which obviously have a drastic impact and can drastically increase costs here. So once again, the, the purpose of 
having an, a knowledge of what's going on in the global business environment isn't necessarily to affect it in any way, shape, or form. But the goal is that if we can identify some of the things that are taking place, once again, we can take action and take steps to try and improve our position because we at least have some knowledge that those are going to potentially come to fruition.